ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Wham. Yeah, it's almost time to change that intro music. It is. On May 4th, which happens to be our anniversary. T- 10 year anniversary. Uh, dating anniversary. Uh, May 4th, our single is released. We're doing it, y'all. It is gonna be out there. Killing it. Killing it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That's what it's called. You're killing it. But it's just called killing it. Killing. Yeah. Killing it. Killing it. So, yeah, that's happening May 4th. That will be our new intro music. Uh, so, lucky there. And then, again, our show will be the 21st of May, where our video will debut of that single. Yeah. Definitely. That's awesome. It's going to be great. Actually, I just got a text from Tino that, uh, asking if we were going to be uh, playing to the video, which, nah. <laughs> Let's just play the video. and No, then, yeah. Yeah, and then, then we'll play the song live afterwards. Should we do it before or after? Uh, yeah, this is what we've been debating. Should we, should we play the video before our show and then go right into that same song live? Or do we play the video after our show? Or third option, play the video at the beginning of the show and then play the single later. I think it might be kind of cool to play the video and then, like, right when the credits hit, we actually start playing live. Okay, that could work. So the video's kind of still playing a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking, like, the the video plays as the credits. uh, As the credits to our performance. Right, right. (laughs) Right, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's wind down and move on. But it, it would be a good way to just, like, get people's to Maybe you're right. A- attention right at the beginning. Like, hey, we're about to show a video. All right. So we're going to show the video first then. Probably. And then we'll perform. And it's going to be great. Oh, something. Should we take a poll on that? Yeah. Okay, sure. Video, for, a video at the beginning of the set or at the end of the set. Should we have our music video at the beginning of our set or at the end of our set? It's up to you to decide. Or we'll ignore your wishes and yeah, do what we or want. Or we'll just do it, whatever. <laughs> whatever. But it is fun to ask for others' opinions and then disregard it. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so uh, today... Um, oh, yeah, you have a, an event today. I have an event today. It's a new moon event. It's in a secret garden. So if anybody's interested secret ever... garden. We do full moon and new moon ceremonies, and it's going to be amazing. We do tarot and then uh, meditation, yoga, uh, cleansings, all sorts of things, Um, and workshops. So, yeah, if there's any witches out there and or healers and or spirit folk, come on down. We're in Pasadena. Um, and then tomorrow I'm doing tarot at a place called Goods on Orange. Awesome. Um, uh, yeah. So it's going to be really exciting. And we sold the most tickets we've sold so far too. And I'm really excited. For the event today. Yeah. For the event today. So yeah. that will be a it's real It's pop kicker. off. It's Might want to see if you can join. Shout out to Goodwitch for also holding it down on the other side. Thank you. Word. Word to your mother. So, yeah, that's that's happening today. Next, also, our sign is going to be here for our coffee pop-up, hopefully, yeah. next week. Yeah. Fingers crossed. But I, for one, am super excited to see this sign because not only, one, making things as a graphic designer, like sure. seeing it in real life, versus like internet or computer life right a physical thing a physical thing is kind of uh amazing to me i i I get a lot of joy uh, off of that uh because it's like holy shit i dreamed this up i created it in a place that doesn't really exist like with matter but and now it now it exists yeah cool yeah so that's gonna be awesome uh Ryan chose it to be yellow instead of black. So we're doing an inverse. Gotta make it pop. Gotta make it pop. Gotta make it pop. Gotta see the coffee sign. 
And uh, then we have to roast like six pounds of coffee. <laughs> yeah, and we have to get like the legal stuff. Legal document. Taken, taken uh, I'm just of. gonna mail it out. Just mail it. Yeah. Just, yeah. With the with the check. With the stuff. check. It's fine. I, I mean, was concerned about the money order, but we got we got checks. We got so. checks, so it'll be fine. So uh, we are getting a cottage license. I filled out all the paperwork and everything, and you have to make a fake sticker of what's. What the ingredients are? Are there any allergens? Blah blah blah. A fake sticker? Uh, yeah, I had to make a demo sticker. Oh, of like oh, what I it see. would uh, for, for look them. like. It. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. not a sticker. It's just on a piece of paper. Yeah, it's coffee. Yeah, <laughs> coffee. Water. Coffee and water. That's what it's <laughs> like. Those are the ingredients: organic coffee That's and water. It. So yeah, that was made. That's ready to rock. What else, man? Uh, I feel like we got a lot moving and shaking. Willow's going to get a haircut. Yeah. That's that's big news. Oh, she's sleeping right now. You can't really see her. Sleepy, she just hopped up here and went right to sleep. <laughs> she is blowing her winter coat. Yeah. As we all do. Uh, and it is fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of hair and a lot of fluff. So So it's time. So it's time. What's going on on your end, babe? Anything exciting? Let's see. I am uh, currently working on a song uh, for with Loris Latex that we both wrote together, actually, with Loris. Yeah. Um, Which is also. And good. Justin. Justin yeah. was also in that writing yeah. session. Uh, I did. There, Justin's song was already released, Filthy Kitchen. If you haven't heard that, go check that out. A slamma. Yeah. Listen to that. Yeah. Um, Loris, we are in the middle. I'm just waiting on like some final notes for the final mix, and then we're gonna start talking about video production and stuff for Loris Holy as shit. well. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know how much I'll be involved with the video production stuff like that, but that's probably. But it's moving. Yeah. Okay. But it's all moving. The song is moving. Also, you've been working uh, on some stuff for Sage, too, because they're about to perform Sage, also. Sage, yeah, and we're going to get back in the writing room with Sage. If you haven't seen Sage, go check out Sage, young artist, up and coming uh, on Instagram. I believe he it's spelled. He spells it with a Q, right? Yeah, S-A-G-Q-E. E? Yeah. Super rad. So, incredible voice. Incredible voice. Incredible vocalist. Uh, very moistest to uh, me. I think is... A, about to perform at the Queer Mercado on the twenty first. On the twenty first, the same yeah. show, the same day as our show. So uh, I I applied to do our first coffee pop up there, and then realized it was the morning of our. We could do it. That is and my because it's here. done by four. Oh yeah, your dad's here. So, but I mean, we might be able to swing it. It depends on our paperwork, also. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. If that really... if that gets done and taken care of. Maybe we'll go for it, and maybe we'll play it that day. And just, That's what I signed us up for as well. I signed oh, us yeah. up to play also. It'd be kind of a cool, like, warm-up double, show that double day. Double show! <laughs> but, we don't, but we don't, like, advertise that one. We just, well. we just play it. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't... Uh, we, We're it's not, not gonna, officially it's, doing um, it yet, but... You know... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, so... Um, yeah, what else is happening? My dad's coming to visit. Your dad's coming to visit. That'll um, be, and you guys are going to go on a three day excursion to Arizona because he's interested in maybe buying a house in Arizona, right? Yes, we're yeah. looking at property, looking at props in the Arizona. IA. Also, I was born there, and we're going towards Tucson, which is very funny. So I'm going to go see my birthplace. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be nice. Cool. And then. Uh, yeah, then we're gonna mosey on back. What the heck? Else? I feel like we have so much going on this week. What? But I'm also oh. like, oh, 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 duh. <laughs> of course. Uh, we are gonna be backing up Nikki Manos. Boom, boom, baby. Yeah, on a couple tracks, so yes. it's gonna be Nikki Manos featuring We Are Makers as his backing band. That's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really awesome because this is the first time I've been hired as a musician uh, instead of just... I've always... I've, I've been hired to use my voice before, but never as, like, a bass as player. A bass player, right. So I thought that was really cool. And I was like, ooh, yeah! All that hard work is paying off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun. And we went over some songs of theirs, and it's going to be dope. Yeah. 
How would you describe two? his sound? Uh, it's kind of It's like spaghetti western meets, meets like, like with like an electronic DJ kind of vibe. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's dope. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love any kind of spaghetti western sound kind stuff, of though. Rock elements, hip hop elements, you know. And he also like samples from uh, like western movies. Yeah. He'll, like, or sometimes a he'll, quote he'll, in there. Well, sometimes he'll take like an, a western and basically s- rescore it. And. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen those yet? Those are no. really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Okay, Nikki Manos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, okay, so we're doing that. Uh, that's going to be fun. Tino's also going to be with us. Yeah, Tino. Our drummer. Tino. Yeah. And uh, what? That's about it. That's, uh, that's yeah, about it, that's y'all. About that's, it. That's, Just that's, a lot of music. A lot of music stuff. A lot of music. Moving. Your uh, um, event, the moon events, um, and tarot events. Yeah. And, it's my friend's birthday. We're going to go do a little garden party on Wednesday. And it's our anniversary. Oh, yeah. May 4th is our anniversary. Which we, we kind of mm-hmm. touched on, but yeah. it's true. We really, it's 10 yeah. years. May I the 4th be it. with you. May the 4th be with you. Does it feel like 10 years, babe? Uh, it, it feels sh- simultaneously short, shorter than 10 years and longer than 10 years. <laughs> like, you know, like it feels like we've known each other forever, but then it also feels like it's all, it's already been 10 years. Wow. What is time? There was something interesting. Uh, I, I'm going to totally butcher it right now. I was <laughs> watching on, on why... Time feels faster as you get older, and wow. something that that's happening in our brain. But my opinion is just that it's perspective, mm. really. Like that when you're young, like let's say you're five years old, two and a half years is half, half of, of your, your life. life. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I so see like a life. year is like for fucking ever. You know. Ah. When you're in your 30s, a year is like, not not that big right. of a deal. I can make <laughs> one movie in a year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's good. You know, yeah. I mean, now, like, the the months seem to fly by. It's like, like holy shit, we're, like, flying. the end of May? <laughs> or, or beginning sorry, of beginning May. Beginning of May, I mean. Sorry. Yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. Like, it was just, it was just January. Yeah. Seems crazy. Like I, I was talking to somebody brought their dog into work, and so I was naturally talking about my dog. <laughs> Someone to do, uh, and it was just like, oh, how long have you had your dog? I'm like, oh, only like a year. Oh wait, no, over only a year. Years. Like, wow, yeah, again, we're going on two years now. It's so bizarre. Jen has uh, has a shirt that says, "Time is not real." <laughs> That's so funny. I'm like, well, kind of, actually. Yeah, I mean, like, with like, the deeper you go into, like, quantum physics and relativity and stuff like that, you, and, like, the idea of space-time being a connected thing, he's, it's it becomes flexible in perspective. Yeah, you it's know? not like, how we perceive time no. right now. It's actually way more... Wibbly wobbly, yeah. if you will. I like that analogy. I think it's a Carl Sagan analogy, but I think he might have got it from somewhere else, anyways. But like, of like, if you're a two dimensional, he shows like a, a print, like a like a two dimensional print of what an apple would look like. Like basically, if you just put an apple in ink and then stamped it on hmm. a piece of paper, that that two dimensional. If you lived in a two dimensional world, that would be all you know of what an apple looks like. Hmm. So if you're a two-dimensional being, you know, in a three-dimensional world, we we know that it's that the apple looks like it does, like an apple. So if time is a fourth dimension that we don't quite have an under, a full understanding of, or another dimension, I don't know if fourth is the right term, but if it's another dimension that we only have a limited per- perspective exactly. of, then it, then it's not what we see right. what it seems we can know? kind of get a piece of the picture yeah but not the full shebang if you will we perceive time as linear mm. but that's not the whole truth of what it is 
just because we're limited by our by our understanding by our bodies in this dimension and I feel like that that that's made abundantly clear when you take psychedelics. Oh yeah. It's it's one of the first most obvious lessons if you ever embark on any of those journeys that a time is a is it, it seems not real or or is a construct or is yeah. or is movable or um uh, well, we've all had those moments where, like, I don't know, you like... You get a piece of the picture. Well, where you, like, maybe you drop something and you have to catch it or something mm-hmm. really quickly. And, like, in that blip, that second, like, seems a lot longer. It's almost like things slow down. Oh, for sure. You know? Like, we've all had, like, some experience like yes. that, right? Yes. Where it where time seems to slow down. Yes. And maybe the truth of the matter is that it does, but only, like, from your perspective. I would agree. Like, like the outside perspectives aren't... Maybe it's because your brain's, like, suddenly working faster, so then, like, you... I feel like it happens at traumatic events. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So the two times I can deeply say I know time slowed down was when, one, I got bucked off a horse. I was riding bareback Mm. uh, when I was, like, 11. Mm-hmm. Or 12. I was riding on my friend's horse and it took off. It was an X race horse and it bucked me off running full speed. And I remember launching off and everything was in slow motion. Mm. I was just like, whoa. The horse running away right. was in slow motion. Me looking at the ground was in slow motion. Like, Suddenly you have to, like, you're in a chaotic situation, so your brain has to go into overdrive right. to, like, perceive everything, to try and do everything that you can to... Survive. Keep, to yeah. survive and keep you from, like, getting hurt. Yeah. So all this information, all this activity that's happening in your brain in that moment makes time seem like it slows down. For totally. You. Totally, totally, totally. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it's just very bizarre. But that, I remember that happening. Remember that happening in a car accident too? Hmm. Like yeah, everything yeah. Was slowed down and I was just and then when I broke my neck, I remember when I was coming towards the mat, I was like, huh. Right. Everything was disoriented right. before. So I was like, huh. But yeah, something happens yeah. with time when you have to really focus. Mm -hmm. I think that happens for women when they're giving birth too. Probably, yeah. You're (laughs) in a totally different dimension. As if it's not long enough already. As if it's not (laughs) fucking long enough and awful. You suddenly make time slow down. Hold on. False alarm, false alarm, everybody. And we're back. And we're back. Um, We live on a, uh, what we call a small commune. Which we so, have uh, half custody of several dogs that run around. We're just making sure they're several hundred dogs. Several no, hundred it's two, beasts. It's just two dogs. <laughs> two dogs and two cats. Yeah. But you know that's enough. Oh my god, we've been having a, a situation with some, with some baby birds here. Oh, it's so sad. It's but. it's not great. But it's nature. But I'm learning that they they do push them out of the nest because they learn how to fly from the ground. They're supposed right, to fall. Right, right. So Which are I was they like, bluebirds? Or yeah, what? these are blue jays. Blue jays. So the mama kicks them out of the nest, and then they spend some time on the ground. They're called fledglings. Fledg- as fledglings before to learn With, how to fly. Yeah, they have like five days to learn how to fly. Yeah, but if you're around... Beast, <laughs> as we said. Like our dog. Then, not great. Yeah. Not a great environment. You might want to learn how to fly a little sooner. Yeah. So. I guess it's on you, bird. Yeah. But none today. No. No baby birds today. So that's great. Um, what? Uh, yeah. I think I think we've hit all the marks here, babe. Is there anything yeah. else you want to add? Touch on? No, I think we're good. Oh, uh, yes, we have T-shirts available. <gasps> yeah! Should, there's a link in all of our... Uh, we can't, like, post something yet. We don't have quite enough oh, followers for that. Oh, it's in our flow that, code, it's, actually. It's in our flow code. So go to our bio. Yep. Click merch, and you'll see our shirts. Yep. It's also in the description. 
And it's in the description of our videos, of on, our videos YouTube. on YouTube. So, yeah. Check them out. Tell us what you think. There's They're the pretty California cool. Sober shirt. Check that out. I think yeah. it's pretty cool. I do have another design for the California Sober that I'm going to upload too. Yeah, all the I'm designs. Have like two all the designs. But they're super cute. They're all in black shirts. Uh, we do also have sweaters available. And uh, I have one shirt with our faces on it. <laughs> and it's cute. So someone buy it and then take a picture and send it to us. We should get mugs. Oh. With our mugs on them. Mug mugs. Mug mugs. I love it. All right. That's coming next. We are makers. All mug right. mugs. Check out our merch. Buy some merch. Yes. Please. Why not? Why not? All right. You're not going to buy a CD, so it's fine. <laughs> Might as well get something. That you're Might as well use. get a t shirt or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> well, we love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Ta for now. Bye bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah.